I think I'm live. Am I live? Are we streaming Fire Emblem Heroes for the Nintendo Phone Cube? How exciting. Uh, yeah, so the update is allegedly in like five minutes. So we're just gonna jam a little bit and then check that right on out when it's time. That's kind of the plan. In the meantime, I have got... Uh, I didn't do Arena today. I did play AR. I might just play another match tonight because I'm not playing very well. And also, I'm getting matched into people who don't mind sacrifice plays, which is not, like, really the elo I want to be jamming in. Not super duper ideal. Hey, thanks, purse phone. Yeah, I think I think this is gonna be a good jacket for me. <sighs> I'm very excited about uh, the potential Cinderella run. Oh wait, I forgot to I forgot the most important part. I forgot the real superpower. How is the general audio balance? Is game, music, me, mixed approximately appropriately? Are we like remotely good on that? I played with the settings on my mic a little bit because I think it was a little bit too compressed. But I also think like a little bit too compressed is better than a little bit not compressed enough. If it sounds good on a phone, that's probably what most people are listening on. So we take those, okay. What now? Do we... Oh. Jeez. I mean, this person is just... <laughs> I'm already, like, guaranteed taught tier 21 in Arena, so we're just playing this for fun. But, uh... I do not like my odds here. <laughs> not one bit. Um... I mean, like... I guess we have to play a little bit... Aggressive, potentially? Okay, wait, that's kind of huge. Um... Does Mer one-tap Alincia? 41 resistance? Are you joking, dude? I don't think she does. I think we have to back off. Which is unfortunate because Shez is the only one who can really do anything. Whoa! Hey, viewers just jumped to five. Can everyone who has every different type of audio set up please confirm if things sound okay? How's the music? Is the game audio coming through? Because it's not on my monitor, for my audio monitor for some reason, but it, the bar is jumping. It claims to be real. And uh, I put a little less compression on my voice, so maybe I sound slightly more human, but not too human because apparently that game was pretty bad. Oh, this is over. Never mind, we already lost. Cool. <laughs> Content. Great, thank you. And hey, Gian Carps, it's really nice to see you showing up again. It's so cool to, like, recognize old heads at this point in my Feytube career. Um, this is a big old surrender, but it doesn't matter because... Well, actually, I guess... I guess there's, like, quests for this, right? But, I mean, I didn't even get every bonus kill on this run. And we're doing this well, so it's kind of a moot point. But, you know. Is this like sexualizing a transformer? Very interesting. Anyway, Camilla's about to wreck us. I guess I don't even need to go like remotely deathless here, do I? That's fun. That's ridiculous, actually. Wait. Ban this guy. <laughs> oh, no, no. Okay, well. Let's just get set up over here and hope that nothing too stupid happens. Uh, ugh. It's gonna be a yuck blech from me.
Okay, Murr is preventing the Warpies. Also, uh, if anyone in chat can let me know when the update actually drops, we can get to the we can get to the good stuff and stop uh, just idly playing Arena. Leave it to me. Who even? Well, I guess just Chez makes sense to go here. What now? This is probably. Um, it's still really not ideal. That's fun. That's so fun. Everyone just agrees that that's like the most fun thing. I need a ranged unit <laughs> in this season. That's really the takeaway here. Uh, 84. Yep, sounds about right. Jeez! That was like unplayable. People love to complain about like summoning duels and AR, but Arena is really where you just get the unwinnable. Okay, this is at least like vaguely playable, so that'll be kind of fun. Yes, advance towards me. Whales go hard. So true. So real. Um, am I bad enough, dude, to just believe in Mur? Because we like win the speed check and get null follow up here, so it's actually a little bit, a little bit crazy, a little bit lit. I think. This way, you say. Oh right, warpies. And by that I mean the opposite of warpies. Non warpies. Jacket goes crazy. Thank you. Yeah, uh, we're celebrating um, celebrating Joel Embiid's triumphant return to the NBA with a win over the number one team in the West. Quite, quite exciting for the fans. Suddenly there's no warpies. Excuse me? Well, I guess we just take that. I guess we just take that, 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 that. It makes me so sad that people who aren't yo-yoers don't understand take that. It's really important to me. <laughs> Banner trailer up? Oh! That's happening tonight too? Cool. What's the word on the update though? Um, I'm just gonna ball the entire way out. Oh yeah, we're balling. Banner trailer? I think I have this set up to do that actually. Hang on. Um, who does the best tier into this monstrosity? Does Mer just win? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mobileth gets crushed by Shez. Good unit alert. Okay, uh, are we getting up the thingy? We got one. That's something. Is it worth playing Voting Gauntlet right now? Is it bonus hours? No, okay, we definitely don't do that right now. Uh, let's see if, whoopsie. Let's see if I can't get that trailer up. So, what do we do here? Um, drop the phone. Live reacts. Maybe I can even cut this into a video. Maybe we can get real wild with it. Oh my god, wow, that's quite a thumbnail. That looks like a different game. Uh, hang on. I guess we can stop this music. And... not have it be whatever window it was right there. 
Maybe this? Maybe this works? Yeah, that kind of does work. Um, okay, let's actually pause this. And... I guess we're gonna have to do it like this. Or, hang on, wait, can we... Is that better or worse? Couldn't tell you. We're gonna do it like this. Any objections? I could really use a second monitor right now, that'd be so choice. Notice board. Yeah, that'd be smart. But then I'd have to switch between apps more, and I hate doing that on stream. Uh, okay, let's do this. I haven't thought too much about the future, but I hope I can help people. Okay. Oh, Robin's on the banner. We're getting both Robins in this banner. All right, what do we got? <laughs> that is long. All right, Grant, speed plus three visible, so no slaying. I feel like we're gonna be getting like the ranged version of Gambit on this. Is that is that a crazy is that a crazy thought to have? Uh, this seems to be a little bit off center, so let's fix it. Cool. Unity shoots combat, uh, flared sparrow effect, true damage at the start of combat. Okay. Grants. It's got the cooldown. Ba it's got the, uh, the, the stats based on opponent having a low max special cooldown. Okay. So sort of like fitting in with like the gambit theme of punish of like rewarding high cooldown specials, but in reverse. Because it's based on the enemies. 30% reduction on first attack brave. Okay, this is just like by the numbers stuff so far. Offensive tempo. And gambit style greater than 3. Uh, neutralizes reduced damage by X percent. Okay, so it's full piercing on special if it's a high cooldown special. Oh, so it's actual, and we have the actual Flared Sparrow effect built in. Huh. Wild. Uh, this seems only okay, am I crazy? There it is. I, I called this. I totally called this. Uh, nothing gets by me. Not a single thing escapes this trap. Oh, wait, you have Rally Spectrum? Okay, that's actually kind of cr Actually, wait, this is... This is a game. This actually changes everything. Wait, this unit is actually amazing. Oh no! And how does Gambit Magic Gambit work? Uh, if you don't initiate combat or foes range equals two. Okay, so this doesn't work at one range. So I thought that's gonna be the only change though. Plus X damage. Special count minus two times four instead of times five. So it's a little bit less true damage. Doesn't work if you're initiated on by a one range foe. And. For damage reduction by. Okay, so it's 12 true damage and 40% DR at max instead of 15 and 50. So it's still, I think, like pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Do we think this is pretty good? Do we think this is pretty good? This, uh, mostly just the fact that Tip the Scales is on like a nuke makes it so insanely much more viable on AR defense, which is uh, really strong. This just like stole, because a Red Mage Infantry, am I crazy? Am I crazy to think that? Am I on anything? No, this is, yes, yeah, so this just like completely stole the wind from Lysithia's sail. Oh no, dude.
Wait, we actually get young Emerin? Does that mean Lissa is gonna be the Country, no. Tempest Trial? How may I help? No, Frederick's gonna be the Tempest Trial. Lissa's gonna be the Dima. Magic Shield Plus. Wait a second, is that a new Let's go. thing? Is that a new heal assist? We haven't had that in a minute, and it's only been like the positional ones, right? All right, so preferred staff, uh, dazzling, shocker, slaying. Always neat. A few minutes HP is less than or equal to 60. So this is low HP if you're like around half HP or less. Or if unit has entered combat or used an assist skill during the current turn. Is there going to be a marker to let you know if that's happened? Allies can move to a space within two spaces of unit. Wait, so this is reverse Wings of Mercy? But, like... That's crazy good, except that the only tanks that matter right now both have null counter disrupt, but I mean, the fact that she can just assist her way in means this, this unit redefines like return traps and stuff, right? Am I, am I, am I cooking with that? Am I thinking something? Is my brain firing properly? Uh, magic shield plus, restores HP equals half of your attack to target ally and grants the following effects for one turn. Attack resistance plus six and neutralizes penalties on unit during combat. That's a good bonus. Um, so this is just like this is like a ultra rally attack res plus, but the neutralizes penalties thing is actually a really nice bonus to get. And then if used on turn two and onward, also grants another action to unit and inflicts restricts moving to one space on unit and so. So this is just like a souped up version of uh, those rally bots like uh, Sane and Annette and the new Sylvain. And Magic Shield Plus? Makes it seem like... It's inheritable? And okay, two turn cooldown. So... Similar to... This is very similar to like... Gulveg's... Uh, B scale actually like Gulvig's extra extra actions heal force yeah the warp anywhere is the craziest part for sure like that that especially being inheritable is pretty cool but I think that it's I guess the big problem here is that like return or honestly like rescue could potentially just be even better than this or maybe you can. I guess that there's probably a way to like rally trap with this too. Do you think this will push healers into max score? Um, it could. Did they have 500 SP specials? They do now. I don't know what the specials cost. I can't think of what the new specials cost. It's probably 500. So this would make sense to score as much as a rally plus since it is a rally plus. But so far, both of these units are just like amazing AR defense tools that still probably don't actually help with the problem that is Emblemic. And what do we have? Lights Restraint, which is the guard one, Poetic Justice, Attack Res Oath. Nothing new, nothing interesting. <laughs> well, that's not true, they're, they're interesting. But they're not new, so we don't have to talk about them. We can reach an accord. That's pretty cool. I don't hate the way that looked. Yes, Lissa is the demote, and it's Axe Lissa, which I would not have bet on. Death Res finished three. That's nearly useless. <sighs> okay, what does this one do? Accelerate special trigger, cooldown count minus one. If unit is within three spaces of an ally, grants bonus to unit's attack, defense, res, so no speed, equal to a quarter of unit foe's attack at combat, minus, f okay, that's like a, a common way to just get a bunch of stats. Uh, neutralize effects that grant special full tempo is always good. Fargus having that is surprisingly good. Reduces the effect of deep wounds, <laughs> terrible effect. Reduces damage from foes follow-up and attack by 80% during combat. A good effect that is probably meaningless at this point. Like, 
you probably either just like go down in the first hit or <laughs> like they have dr pierce on the second hit or something but i guess it's better than nothing um and if unit's great hp is greater than 70 percent, so if the unit is healthy deals damage equals x percent of unit's defense when unit's attack triggers unit special otherwise hp restores hp equals x percent of unit's defense to unit based on high special cooldown so this is weirdly like a flare effect but it's like true defense based sort of um i don't think this is an amazing unit i think that this is a pretty nice demote i think if you're a big lissa fan this is kind of cool but i'm looking at this and what i really see is four star times pulse four star death res finish fodder just i i'm not even convinced this unit is better than fargus in a meaningful way like the support that he has i think he's so much better than these shenanigans maybe this unit is actually going to be really annoying to kill in like arena where it actually matters but i just don't see it mattering oh but the sprite is really good oh the sprite's so good though This art is actually kind of crazy. We work well together. Is this artist done art for Faye before? I don't recognize that name. They have a Chrom special. Oh no. You've got this. Wait a second, what uh, movement type are they? Did I miss that? Well Infantry you Blue Tome. Shh, fascinating. Is this the longest weapon description in the entire game? I don't want to read this. <laughs> A harsh spectrum? What? Okay, Draconic Pacts. Slaying. If a rally or movement assist is used by unit or targets unit... Grant special cooldown count minus one to unit and inflects hush spectrum on fuzz in three columns or three rows. The next action. So this is like um, this is like a super ruse. No, it's not ruse. It's snag. This is like super snag. This is like snag five. We'll find out about hush spectrum. Let's just read hush spectrum right now. Uh, spectrum five debuff during combat. And if units attack can trigger unit special, inflict special cooldown count plus one on unit before units. So it's like, it's basically the opposite of Rally Spectrum, right? It's a five spectrum debuff on them and it auto scowls them, which is an interesting, it's an interesting inversion of Robin. I, with the, so one thing that I don't like about this is that uh, the Robins who have Rally Spectrum are not Fallen, and this unit is also not Fallen, right? So, like, it feels like this should be on, like, a Fallen Robin alt. You know, they should make... Am I crazy for that? Like, I feel like it's sort of missing the point. Sorry, I'm having a hard time. Too many windows open. Uh, it's hard to pay attention to chat at the same time. Read for us. I'm doing our. I'm doing my best. I'm doing what I can. Definitely, I saw Frederick in the thing. I think he's going to be the Tempest Trial unit, which makes sense because he is a boy. He is man. Patreons don't want to read example for 2069. <laughs> you saw Ike. This is easier than Ike so far, though, because like a lot of the effects that go together are in the same paragraph. It seems like. Does this does this beat Ike? It scowls him? Does it scowl him, though? Maybe it does? I guess it does. This is the Ike counter? Huh. Oh, because he doesn't get DR piercing without the special? But if you just run the other Robin on this banner with Ike, he still gets the special. We're getting scammed. They're scamming everyone with this. Ike's special jump, I think, happens before you, before his foe attacks. Because he has, like, that forced, uh, 
like reverse vantage desperation thing and special jump happens bef- on Lagu's friend happens before the foe attacks so that it works with like Pavis and stuff it's girl Robin maybe that's why that's true I guess I guess we've only seen Rally Spectrum on male Robin but that would be sexist and we all know that Fire Emblem Heroes treats sexes very equally and fairly that's like well documented just watch the Duma fight the Duma fight Amount of Robins is crazy lately. Yeah, and they're all pretty good. All right, so there's more effects on this. So basically, he doesn't. Ha- there's not actually a Chrom assist here, but it's in the weapon that you get another movement after using positional effect, which is kind of better because now that you can use X skills, which is kind of crazy. And then we have reposition to go with it. <laughs> Can't wait to inherit that. Comes with flare, but we do have a. Okay, but they do. Oh, wait, so is this a Fell Robin? Wait, Fell Worm Scale, that's... Hang on. We gotta go back to the art. I don't see any purple. It seems like they are trying to go for, like, a Fallen Robin type thing, but it's not... It's not there. Also, I haven't played Persona, but Chrom looks like a Persona character there. Oh, and I didn't even read this. If you notice combat or is in two spaces of an ally, inflicts a billion stats on foam based on their special cooldown. Reduces damage from foe's first attack by 30%. And neutralizes and offensive tempo. So that's like this part, all of the numbers text is actually pretty reserved, but I think the support effect is really good. I mean not that this is bad, it's just like I feel like they haven't released a unit that doesn't have at least like bunch of stats 30 percent at least damage reduction and then like tempo is just getting so common so it's not that part's not game breaking but it's like i guess like the, the bare minimum and then we have flare on a unit not from radiant dawn which is a little bit like throw my phone across the room but also actually fine like better than them not having flare and having you inherit it so that's cool fell worm scale let's talk about it Chrom looks the Persona 3 main character. Cool. I have perfect pitch for d- video game character designs. What does Fallen Worm Scale do? Spectrum 8 with an HP condition. So that's counterplay. Just AOE them. Um, deals damage equals 15% of units attack during combat. This feels very rearmed Grima so far. And also, when special triggers, DR Pierce. That's an interesting A slot effect. And then restore 7 HP to unit for combat. This is just like a weird mishmash of uh, Arcane Grima and whatever the A slot was on Rearmed Grima. It's it's good, but again, it's not like amazing, amazing. It's just like you need to have DR Pierce. True damage is good. Stats are good. I don't know. I almost feel like I prefer the other Robin on this banner. Oh wait, do we have the first Link 4 skill in the game? Never mind, hang on, everything's about to become different. If a movement assist skill, like reposition, is used by unit or targets unit, grants attack speed plus 6, and Kanto 1 status, I assume? Yeah, it's in brackets, so it must be the status. To the unit and target ally, to, to both units for one turn. And then, inflicts speed minus 4 and defense res minus minus. Two on a foe. Mine is a two? <laughs> what is this? The binding blade before refine? <laughs> two stats? And unit deals plus X damage during. Oh, so the def- Never mind. So it's actually like. The defense minus two is just. It's it's X plus two. Bonus. Oh, and the, it's, it's a blade tome effect. Well, okay, no. It's like. Uh, sort of like a Shara core, but it's only attack and speed, so this is actually like basically 14 attack. Defense was minus two, that's writing it like this is so stupid, I'm mad about it. Oh, it's only among unit and allies with Kanto 1 act This skill is written in a way that drives me insane. I don't know why, but that's really bothering me. Hey, Ridge Pichu. 
Link skills suck. Yeah, this doesn't feel like it makes... This doesn't feel like it saves Link skills. It's definitely better. But... Well, I mean, it's good. You know, it's like Blade Tome type effect of the B-slot, which... <laughs> so many things about this just feel like they were, they were like written in 2017 and they shelved them until now. But obviously the numbers and Kanto effect are way more current. But you know, do you know what I mean? Just like Defense Res minus 2 and a half Blade Tome, like... 2017 that's like top tier best unit in the game not close and now it's like yeah i mean or you could run magical no follow-up <laughs> but this unit has infantry no follow-up four so like you don't need that because you have to do your piercing but you know what i'm saying right like the skill is not i feel like the skill is not going to be optimal on very many units at all that's what i'm saying we made it through we read all the words Oh, watch the Duma fight. This is the Duma fight. Witness my strategy. That's cool looking. Never mind. I'm back on the... I actually... I now pick this Robin just because... Uh... Just because that looks so cool. Yeah. No, this is definitely the better Robin on the banner just for the animation. Is it though? I don't know. Well, the animation is... Oh my god, we also have this. <laughs> they give Rally Spectrum also? And Dual Strike? That's busted. That's so so I mean, okay, technically Rally Spectrum and Dual Strike have anti-synergy, right? Technically? Because you get less special jump with Brave Effect, so like technically they're in opposition, technically? But, I mean, <laughs> if it was either of these, <laughs> seven rows and seven columns, is that just the entire map? Yeah, I mean, either of these effects alone would be, like, an amazing duo skill, right? The fact that it's both is just, you can go crazy, you can positions that you get the full special jump, like, th this gives, so this actually gives, like, a crazy number of options. Oh, they're pressing it. Uh-oh, it's over. Sarah's about to die. Actually, no. Femortis about to die. To You've got this. That's disrespectful. This man, one, choose your legends. You're going to do him like that? Right. It'd be so funny if this didn't kill. That's weirdly close. Honestly, for advertising a unit like that, that was weirdly close. <laughs> Wait, did they show Freddy Boar? Did they show Freddy Bear? Did they show Freddy Freddy Fazbear? Oh, an axe calf! <laughs> I have a feeling this isn't going to be the greatest freebie child unit of all time, just based on it being an axe calf. That's like a rough class right now. Winter Dimitri was just on uh, Hero Rises. That's not even Refined Gatekeeper, wasn't it? I thought it looked like they had True DR. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I don't know. I feel like the Axe units got kind of shafted here, and the other three are, like, amazing for sort of most things. Uh, no, that Chrom... I, I guess... This Chrom is blue, so they're, like, kind of weird to run with Igrin, but I feel like having that refresh ability and not being, like, season-locked and having so much other... So sorry for that. Having so much other support effects means they'll be, like, actually really good on AR defense. This is just an amazing... Uh, the three five stars on this banner are just amazing for air defense. It's actually a little bit nuts. Um, is the update out yet? Do we have the update? Kind of, kind of fiending for those refines. Yeah, the update is out. Okay, I'm gonna grab that and then switch back to my phone. Uh, or switch back to like the app for stream content reasons. We're in. Okay, cool. Um, we can now get rid of these, Here come back to these, and I accidentally moved it because I am a fool. Is that just like not quite big enough? Does that look better? J 
should be That looks kinda good. I won't lose. Oh wait, why can I I can hear it now. My monitor's working. That's great. And we can get back we can crank the tunes again. I guess I played this song already. Let's go to here. All right. The finds were just data mined. You don't have to data mine them. I got them right here. I even um, I even did a thing. Look, I got all five. I I actually have all the units this time. I got them all marked so we can look at them, and we're gonna look at them in reverse order of my hype, which means. Probably George, Lilith, Julia, Nyla, and Lysithia. Just because I have like, I free summoned this Nyla with like perfect IV spread and we got a merge in the code somewhere. And I have a feeling that this, the fact that this has like the special cooldown count minus one means that she could go really nuts for Gale Forest, which I think would be a lot of fun. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. But let's, I mean, let's start with, <laughs> let's start with Robot Man. What do we got here? Slaying? Did he already have slaying? Wow, a grill unit with slaying. That's so rare. Okay, grants attack defense, five to units within four spaces of unit during their comp, that's cool. And attack defense minus five on foes within four spaces, that range is awesome. And those foes suffer guaranteed follow-up attacks during combat. Oh cool, so it's the crux? that new effect just gonna I know that there was a little bit of uh, confusion debate when this was when that effect was first written that is canceled by null follow-up right that's the word if someone could just confirm that for me barrack showcase I should make that video I've been I've been pushing back making a barrack showcase for a long time barrack showcase for a long time so I think they'll be somewhere in the future but I'm uh, like slammed this week so it's not happening yet I would have to figure out which units to show and stuff but I finally actually have built some of my favorites so it'd be kind of fun okay it's sort of if you within two spaces of an ally grants attack speed six hex blade and special cooldown during combat okay to unit and allies within two spaces unit for one turn. Wait a second. Yo, this is actually kind of good. Wait, this is kind of real. This is literally attack speed hex blade for everybody. Sort of. Special cooldown charge is also like really good. Huh, and you have slaying. So like, you can get a pretty easy dead eye and you're stacking you don't get the buff yourself, but you do get it here. So this is like, I mean, a 10 attack and defense swing, visible six, hex blade. I, I actually can't believe they did that. Yeah, I mean, Nah is dead. Um, Maybe Minerva's refined was considered good just just for the special cooldown charge, right? And now this is Hexblade on top of that? That's so good. But I guess the difference is like Minerva can actually run Gale Force. And he can't. So like the team you most want that effect for, he's a little bit less good for, but I honestly feel like Um it's really nice to have some two range units, because sometimes like the arrangement gets a little gunked up. Like it, can be, it can be nice to just have an assassin warp in and like pew from behind. Um, yeah, I thought this was going to be absolute garbage. I thought of every unit in the game, this was going to be one they would just shaft because no one would really care. No offense to the George fans, but he, you know, like he kind of... The, the deep lore is that someone cheated to even get him in the game, so I don't think he they needed to please the fans. But that's really good. This might be a crazy refine. This might be a crazy update. Alright. Astral Breath. Three visible speed. Unit can move through space within two spaces of support partner. That's pretty good. Two. I mean, that's just the that's the fall on the left, right? Outside of turn, if unit is within three spaces of support partner, 
grants speed defense res plus six and dodge to unit and any support partner within three spaces a unit for one turn okay that's fun i mean dodge isn't, isn't what it used to be but that's fun if units within three spaces of an ally grants attack speed defense res plus five to unit during combat and restores seven hp to unit after com that's not good that's like verbatim the opposite of what you would want because i mean i used to use this unit for gale force strategies and Finishing in lower HP is more better than finishing with higher HP. A sort of combat if a unit's HP is greater than 25% grants um, Clash. Spectrum Clash 8, max 8 instead of max 10. Deals plus Y damage. Um, highest total bonuses among unit and allies within two spaces of units. So this is outsourced blade tome effect and full null follow up. Well, that's nice. Um, this isn't a this isn't like a truly useless refine, but I feel like the fact that there's healing on it just makes it so unfocused. Like the main thing you'd want this for, it's now not good for. It's kind of bad. It might be a bad refine. It's not an amazing refine. I don't think it, like, outright saves this unit. It's a shame. Rip. Healing and no slaying. I, I don't feel like slaying is as big of a deal just because she can't run Gale Force anyway. Like, the kind of stuff that she's warping in to try and kill, you, you probably don't need special. But, yeah, it's just, like... She does like get in there and drop like one or two really big hits, but if you could just replace, um, let's see. What did she have again? This song is a little bit too chaotic. This song is also chaotic. This one will work. If we could trade, like, the dodge effect and the healing effect and maybe even defensive null follow-up for, like, some sort of DR piercing, this would be actually a really good refine. But as it stands, I feel like this is just kind of, like, too unfocused. Too many, like, defensive stats and effects. Guidance does give the other half of no follow-up. But, wait. But she has full null follow-up, and she'd be the one running Guidance. Because you wouldn't want to Guidance her in, right? Like, if you can Guidance her in, there's no point in using this unit. The whole point of her is that she, like, self-Guidances herself into her support partner. I don't know. I mean, there's definitely ways to use this. It's just not, it's just a shame, like, for her ally. Yeah. True. But, wait, does she, does she drive part of all follow-up? Did I miss something? No, she does So she could just give that, but, eh. I'm not going to be using this. I'm just not. I mean, well, I shouldn't say. Player phase is something I need to invest more into, so I guess it's not a hard no, but I think she got done a little bit dirty. All right, let's check out Big J. <laughs> I have no SP on this unit. I hope it's bad. Oh my god, wait, Deep Wounds is in there? All right, Glance Visible, three attack. At start of player phase or enemy phase, any foes within three rows or three columns centered on unit that have resistance less than units resistance plus five. So this is the new ploy, right? Inflicts attack res minus seven, sabotage, deep wounds, anti-miracle? Can they... Why doesn't this have a name? 
Why do they always describe the status instead of just giving it a name? Like, just call it like catastrophe or something, right? Healing is just her instead of an ally, which is good at least. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's better than it could be, but it's still like, you want to keep the chain going as much as you can. So it's just an effect that is rarely going to help. But we're talking about Julia. Let's talk about you because like sabotage and deep wounds is insane. That's actually so good. I mean, well, I'm not exactly sure where you use this just yet, but it's pretty good. For initiates combat, or you can just not addition to an ally, inflict attack res minus six and speed minus four. I hate when they do that. I hate when they just throw the minus the four in there. Then it makes a guaranteed follow attack during combat. You know, what's funny is that this actually is really great support for Emblem Ike. Just another, which is just another way to troll Wylia specifically. <laughs> she will never unlink this unit from Ike. It will follow her forever. They can also, I guess it also counters Emblem Ike, which is cool. And that's not even the refine. Oh my god. Okay, so they expanded the effect or the, the condition. That's great. Now, to start a combat, if unit's HP is greater than 25%, we get another attack speed res minus 4 on foe. I feel like this isn't enough stats. Foe cannot make a follow up attack, so we have Omni Breaker. Deals damage, true damage is 20% of res during combat, which th I think this unit is designed to go like pretty crazy with the res, so that could be really good. And also, if unit's resistance is greater than foe's resistance, we get Dragon Wall. So the refine portion is fine. Wait, true res DR? No, it's not true res DR, it's true res damage. If she got true DR, she'd be unreal, but she doesn't. Now, I think this skill is a little outdated, so you can slap well, the Goose Friend on there, and she can get true DR. You're kind of dropping the Dragon Wall effect, but I mean, what does it even do these days anyway? Um, this refine is surprisingly good. However, <laughs> however, um, so that that refine is good enough that I would consider getting a forma. Except that mine looks like this. This skill's kind of good, I guess. This isn't really what you want at all. I mean. I wasn't ever planning on getting this unit anyway. I tried to get all the good skills on this guy and this one. Did the Disarm Trap 4 is in Hall of Forms? Disarm Trap 3 never was. But Disarm Trap 4 is for some reason. I think it's because it has no follow up in it. I don't know. Did, did people, did anyone know this? Am I like dropping a bombshell here? Did I get a glitch? Did I do something illegal? Anyway. Comment down below if that is something anyone knew about or is true. Maybe I'll clip that into a short. I don't know. Comment down below if you've seen Disarm Trap in Hall of Forms. Like and subscribe for more. Hey, IP, what's up? We got so many people in here. This is fun. I should do this more often. We got 63 people in here. I'm a superstar. Hey, everybody. I know you're not all subscribed, so press the good button. It'll make me cry tears of joy as soon as I end stream. You'll never see me cry. I think that is kind of a bombshell. <laughs> Maybe I just actually broke the game. Flare, Fire Flood Boost, Tempo 4, Attack Resploy. Unfortunately, Attack Resploy is kind of just already in her weapon, so that's a little bit of a wasted slot. Fire Flood Boost and Tempo 4 are good, but I it's really up to you. 
Don't forget to hit the like button, helps the algorithm. See, this is the average 11 viewer right here. Very high IQ, really knows some things. Thank you, Rich Pichu. That's what, that's what I like to see. Um, okay, we got two more. This is the ones I'm excited for, which means we're about to see a heartbreak. Also, IP, I'm choosing your choice of words there to mean that you weren't subscribed before, and that means uh, when FayTuber boxing happens, we're fighting. Oops, did I leak that? <laughs> Mark your calories, everybody. FayTuber boxing. Okay, let's see if this unit is good now. Ooh! <laughs> it's a CVS receipt. Dude, if I bring this, if I if I go if I go two blocks right now, I can get twenty percent off nail polish with this. That's crazy. All right, Bride's Fang Refine. We got Slaying. At start of turn, grant special cooldown count minus one. That's unconditional. Wait, that's not Times Pulse. That's every turn. That's like plus up blades. That's that's kind of good. If you don't initiate its combat, or if foe's HP is greater than or equal to 75% at the start of combat, inflicts attack speed, defense, minus 5 on foe, and we get 40% reduction on the first hit, which includes brave hits, baby! Uh, Ezirod, I'm pretty sure we armed heroes... Only the original unit can pass down an echo skill. You can't inherit it off anyone that's inherited it. Only the original unit. That's my understanding. And also, special triggers before or during combat grants special cooldown count minus two after combat. Oh, so it doesn't work with Gale Force still? I was really hoping it was going to work with Gale Force. It'd be so good if it worked with Gale Force. I've set a turn. The Phoenix is to only Beast or Dragon. So this is just the standard um, 7 true damage and tempo when transformed effect. Okay. But then when we're transformed, we also get Kanto remaining plus one. All right. That's always good to have. At start of turn, if unit's transform conditions are met, Grant's unit cannot be slowed by terrain to unit for one turn, and we move one extra space. Okay, that cooks a little bit. At start of combat, if unit is alive, another attack speed, defense minus four on foe, seven HP healing after combat, and Full DR Pierce on special trigger. So they really don't want her to run Gale Force. How fun. How fun is that? That's so fun. I mean, I do like the movement effects to go with Glare, which I, is outdated, but I mean, gravity is just always a little bit bonkers busted, so that's cool. They, they should have just run, like. AOE initiator? Okay. AOE initiator with Fury 7? But you heal 7 after combat. With Fury 7, you're only taking 7 damage. I feel like you just want to run Life and Death, right? Life and Death 7 is better? But AOE initiator is actually really interesting, except there's... You don't get the DR pierce on AOEs. And there's not true damage anywhere, is there? I don't think I saw any true damage. Yeah, I'm not sure if this unit is actually good. It's better than zero? I don't think it is. I think if you can't hit Wings of Mercy, you're better off just staying full so you can take hits. Right? I don't know. Am I not woke for saying that? I'm gonna... I, I unfortunately have to get this from a disappointing stamp. Right now, I think George... George might legitimately be winning. Although Julia's is also kind of nuts. Julia's is a little bit nuts. Alright, now we have to see the big one. When I first made the Levin Seti channel, it was mostly a Lysithia, Dragon Fang, no scope highlight reel. So this unit is, like, very special to me. This is a dear unit. Because this was really the first unit who, like, started my content, you know? So... I really want to see her become good again. I think that would be really cool. It's gonna be great fun without the healing. Without the healing and like, without the healing and without the Gale Force Claws, it would be an amazing refine, I think. 
but they just don't want to. Like we have, we have so many Edelgards in the game. They get Gale Force for free, and they can't even give Nyla one special cooldown after combat for Gale Force. It's absurd. It's not fair. That's so short. Okay, we got Slang. We got attack five, attack speed five, and neutralizes penalties, so we don't need any unity fodder. That's always nice. If unit is equipped with a special, unit special cooldown count is is less than or equal to two at start of combat. Grants an additional attack speed plus seven to unit during combat, so we got twelve stats right there, and another five. We get seventeen attack speed. They're kind of doing her proud. They're kind of doing it good. If unit initiates combat or foes range equals two, grants attack speed plus five to unit, deals damage equals twenty percent of unit speed. And remember, we're getting plus seventeen speed. So even this minus speed one has fifty one. So we're gonna get ten true damage off that for Frizzle. Neutralizes foes' bonuses to speed reds during combat. But, come on. Can't they give her any other effect? <laughs> They're trying to drain my barracks of good fodder. And also if units attack and trigger unit special, grant special cooldown count minus one to unit before unit's first attack. This is special jump. Okay. Um, this is... It's kind of a shame Catria Balls are out of style because I feel like this is like godlike. This would be godlike in a Catria Ball, because you get that minus one jump. And, I mean, well, but I guess also you don't need it, because you can just run, you can run, like, Flare with mm, Emblem Marth, and get one cooldown, auto-trigger, unless there's Scowl, but even if there is Scowl, I forget the order, like, it might work, I don't know. No, I think Scowl beats it, right? But still, that's kind of... Kind of sort of good. I mean, does she even want magical no follow up? I feel like she wants a cultist strike or uh, even tempo, right? Because with tempo, you could brave effects guarantee an even bigger special, which would be kind of cool. This is good. This is actually really good. I think I have a spare copy of her somewhere too, so I can merge, get rid of that speed main uh, for the true damage, which might not end up mattering. Does she have pierce? Oh, she wants Special Spiral, doesn't she? She wants Special Spiral. Special Spiral is kind of good. There's no Pierce in here, is there? I guess Magical No Follow Up is also an option, but I think Spiral is probably better because she gets it for free. Like, you can have guaranteed Flare so easily. Oh, she also has Times Pulse, so you don't even need. Um, you don't even need Emblem Marth. I don't think. This unit is good. Pseudo's Tempo 4. Yeah, I think Tempo, Spiral, both good options. There's nothing... There's, like, no DR or anything, so... I think no follow-up is almost wasted on her, right? Just because there's, like... Spiral is prone to Scowl. But I, I, I think Tempo is definitely... I think I, I would... I take Tempo over... No follow up just because, like, unless she gets desperation somehow, this unit's just gonna die to anything on retaliation. There's no, nothing defensive in the refine, which I actually like. I'm glad there's nothing defensive in the refine. It's really cool to have a unit that's just like big hit, get the money and run. But I think magical no follow up is a trap on this thing. Desperation seal. Sell me on your pyramid scheme to get her into range. <laughs> no, this is... This is this is good. This is worthwhile. I'm happy about that. Um, I'm gonna give... 
Yeah, no, one HP chip. One HP chip would be fun. One HP chip would be fun, but it's also it's honestly also just better. Like, that's a fun effect for the things it can set up, but it's also um, weirdly annoying in terms of effects like healing tower and stuff, so I don't mind it not being based on that. Am I crazy? This seems super bad. Um... Maybe? Maybe I just want it to be good? But I feel like this gives the most relevant stats of anything in this update. And is just like really laser focused on what it's supposed to do. Because if you can put like Flared Sparrow, Spiral 4 on here. She's doing a lot with that one hit. I would love to see the calc of this versus Ike, because she might just do so much damage that she actually gets through a decent chunk of his DR. And if you run her with Julia, then you can have Fatal Smoke already active. 19? Uh, I'm getting 17. 5, 7, 5. 5, 5 is 10. 7. But if you think about it, neutralizing foes bonuses to speed and res is like another 6. So it's kind of like 23. And then you also get the true damage 20% of speed, which is going to be, I think, at least 10. Yeah, yeah, she wants a 3 cooldown special, because she gets, she goes down to 2, and then down to 1, and then special jump 1. You could also, I mean, you could also have some sort of pulse support on the team, like Duo Asker or Infantry Pulse. Shout out to Infantry Pulse. And run Dragon Fang, you can bring back Dragon Fang Lysithia <laughs> with Spiral 4. That is tempting, actually. Because, oh yeah, attack speed finish on here is good too. Because then you can just stack so much true damage. Good luck playing around scowl effects. Yeah, I mean, I just don't feel like there are that many scowl effects. My, my. I don't feel like I'm ever really like losing to scowl effects. Am I lucky? Am I forgetting? I feel like Veil was really good for one week and then everyone decided that she didn't matter and scowl hasn't been a problem ever since. I don't know. Uh, can someone send me the Frederick situation? Yeah, it's not here. I gotta spend some stamina. Ping me, ping me in Phalogy is a good call. Uh, one second, everybody. I have to be slightly less charismatic while I look for this thing. Oh, okay. So, Frederick gives out bonus doubler in some way. Frederick just spreads within two spaces, bonus doubler and foe can't make a follow-up attack, and six attack and defense, and then has some true damage on defense and some stats, 
What, he's a support unit. Okay. Nothing special. I guess, like, nice enough to merge if he scores. Could be good support in Arena, but I don't feel like doing an in-depth analysis and figuring out how to get the image onto my stream. Um... So I, I'm probably overrating Lysithia just because I wanted her to be good. It's, I guess Lysithia is not like the best, but it's just I expected her to be real bad. And she was actually pretty good. AD Clash Bridge Fodder, that's cool. I think Cavs only scored like one bin below infantry, right? So, I mean, he could at least score... He's also a child unit, so he might score, like, 190? That's not bad. Dead meat. Uh, Julia and George, I think, probably got the objective best refines, right? Well, but they're data mining and we should have this number. <laughs> Let me see if it's on Reddit. Still looking, see if I can find stats for that guy. Oh, we got a squad assault. That could be fun to do. Okay, I'm not seeing these stats anywhere. I literally don't care what the spread is, I just want the total. Why did they cook so hard if the Julia's were fine? I guess it'll be a little bit hard to actually get her to the res number she needs to be hitting. I think the one that I foddered for to like plus 10 male Morgan who I never used years ago it was plus res and that feels really bad right now but whatever she'll force our special her way to me someday all right let's do a quick squid assault maybe Yeah, no one... I don't think anyone could have guessed the right skills to get with that refine. That's extraordinarily unexpected, right? I think she really wants... Well, I mean, she wants, like, still water. No one was going to give her still water. We'll go for, like, attack res finish or um, the boost one. Thanks for coming through, AF Iron. It was fun hanging out. I This is actually a lot of fun. I want... A, I'm not usually like around when the updates drop, but I, when I am, I want to start streaming now that I actually have a machine that can do it. Um, who are we going to do this with? I think we have to start with the only team that is truly just. Where, where's my justice team? Here they are. Look, I got two copies of our legendary banner already. She's plus attack now. I could ascend her, but I kind of want to get a plus speed one, just because plus speed is a super boon. Not that it actually affects your scoring or anything. Defense res ploy is actually pretty good. That makes her even better support. Oh, and she doesn't actually drop exposure, right? So defense res ploy is actually amazing. Yeah, that's really good for her. Believe it 
Anyway, time to Lincey this. Ooh, we got the spicy build on this one. I forgot about that. <laughs> How wonderful. I have an idea. You're ready to see something. Pew pew. Let us begin. Has anyone seen any armor lines with Spring Chloe yet? I have not. We I have can. not seen that. I hadn't considered that that could be a thing. I guess there aren't really a lot of armor nukes to do it with, but I guess that they could be like surprisingly tanky. I'm telling just just wait till next month. We're gonna get armored blue bow gold Mary, and she's gonna change everything. Courage. Of course. I shall do it. Who's ready for a little pew pew? Swing. Cool. Um I'm just in a cheesing mood right now. I think we're just gonna cheese these as hard as possible. If you're certain, In this way, on right? my way. I understand. Very well. Ah, oh, yes. Swing. Yeah, there's not enough armor nukes. People really like talking about the refines and stuff, huh? Viewer count is dropping like a rock, so I guess I probably should call it quits after this little sesh. I'm also just kind of tired because it's like a little bit, a little tiny bit late where I am. It's not early right now. That's just not the case. Did you know that computer didn't drop a single frame this whole stream? That's so good. Hey, look who it is. Are they always lined up like that? Are the updates always lined up like this, or is this a coincidence? As you wish. Well, I don't want to let her get her plus 17 attack on me. Did you stay up just for little old me, Hunley? Because honestly, <laughs> irresponsible. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Um, I don't want to deal with thinking. I just want to double save everything. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. How many more double save teams do I have? I have this one. And I have this one. We'll try this one. Yeah, we'll try this one. Here we go. A worthy plan. This way, Elise. Ten out of ten. Let me think. Suggestion? Shall we mark? I won't lose. If you say yes, we'll go with endearing. It's the internet, so we're all memeing a little bit. You can't take it too serious. Why do they give George such a good refine? Why do they give George a better refine than Bridal Nyla? Plus up blades on Julia is actually a little bit unhinged. That could be fun. I mean, not hedged in a very good way when I say that, for the record. Like, that seems like it would actually be really fun to play with. Wait, Julia's here too! Does Squad Assault line up with her finds? That also means, like. This means next month is Fall Nike for sure, right? Like, guaranteed for real?
That doesn't have to make beast units relevant. That's so real. What stats are on that? Oh, another one? We did the whole series already? Well, this one's really good, and sometimes two units want it, so yeah, sure. I'll fling things at that. Okay, yeah, it's late. Um, I might try and cut a couple things from this into videos to post. We'll see. But thanks for hanging out, everybody, and I hope you liked my new jacket. Go Sixers. And B it's back, and no one can stop us now. Especially not the Pacers who lost tonight and are going to end up giving up their sixth seed to us. I guarantee it. That's why they call us the Sixers. So, I won't talk here about sports for too long. I've also been talking for too long. My brain's falling asleep. Thanks for being here. Good night. Sweet dreams. Hope everyone has fun with the new refines and stuff. Good luck on the banner. Bye.